You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty the King's speeches before the United Nations General Assembly have always been a message of peace to the whole world with their lofty meanings, especially with regards to Bahrain's adherence to the international commitments represented in preserving the stability of international order and coexistence in the region and the world. Under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, Bahrain has been the oasis of civilizations and peaceful coexistence together with its stable stances and advanced and humane civilized vision that are based on solid foundations and principles that take cooperation, participation and spreading peace as a method for its work over the years. His Majesty the King's vision has been always centered around spreading peace in various parts of the world and has come to consolidate international coexistence, which was highlighted by the contents of His Majesty's before the 75th session speech of the UN General Assembly, which reflected His Majesty's keenness to strengthen international relations and consolidate areas of cooperation. His Majesty's speech addressed to the UN General Assembly has also reflected the foundations of peace and coexistence that Bahrain has known since ancient times and confirmed the Kingdom's embrace of all according to the principle of equality between citizens and residents. His Majesty the King's speech proved to the whole world that Bahrain is committed to its international obligations in maintaining the stability of the international system and cooperation for the sake of the world's well-being and stability. The last of these efforts was the establishment of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Israel in a message that confirms Bahrain's keenness on just and comprehensive peace as the best guarantee for the future of all people of the region. All decisions taken by His Majesty the King stem from the principle of the National Action Charter and the foundations of the Constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain that are based on Bahrain's commitment to support UN principles of a coexisting world where security and stability prevail for all. On the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the establishment of the United Nations Organization, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has documented the history of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations and its various organizations in a short film entitled The United Nations and Bahrain. The documentary includes local and international interviews of a number of former and current UN officials who have commended Bahrain's pioneering role in supporting international peace and diverse in various countries of the world. The documentary also stressed a long history of Bahrain and the Kingdom's relentless endeavors to support efforts of peace and development in various parts of the world within a long-standing cooperative framework with the various United Nations organizations that Bahrain joined in 1971. Bahrain has been committed to the continuous fulfillment of all its international obligations and all the initiatives of the United Nations organization in an interactive role that reflects the Kingdom's ambitious approach to all efforts that achieve progress and development for the different countries of the world. Labor and Social Development Minister and Board of Directors Chairman of the Family Bank, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, has stressed that thanks to the support of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the bank has brought about a quantum leap in microfinancing since its establishment in 2010. According to a detailed report submitted by the Labor and Social Development Minister to this week's cabinet session, the Family Bank has been able to increase the number of benefiting families from 344 in 2012 to 6,000 in 2019, with amounts exceeding 13 million Bahraini dinars. The minister points it out that the Family Bank's work is based on a number of principles, including the provision of Sharia-compliant microfinance with the support of the Labor Fund Temkin. It targets lower-income social segments and groups and extends assistance to families and individuals who are looking for work or widows and others to achieve sustainable income and improve their quality of life by relying on productive and developed work. Regarding the Family Bank's main achievements, the minister said that it has contributed to increasing the number of recipients of home-based product licenses to 864 families within the Khatwa Step Program for Home-Based Businesses. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan has issued a circular stipulating the reopening of the Labor Ministry licensed nurseries tomorrow, Sunday, October the 25th, amid strict precautionary measures to limit the spread of novel coronavirus COVID-19. The move is based on the latest updates, which are periodically assessed and in line with the recommendations of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus COVID-19. In a statement, the minister stressed the importance of the adherence of nursery owners, staff and parents to the guidelines issued by the Ministry of Health to protect public health, especially that of children during their presence at nurseries. The circular highlighted the precautionary measures to be followed, including mainly the daily sanitization of nurseries and the mandatory wearing of face masks for the staff, but not for children. 
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated that Bahrain welcomes the announcement of an agreement to establish relations between the Republic of Sudan and the State of Israel, which was facilitated by the United States of America as an additional historic step towards achieving peace, stability and prosperity in the Middle East. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs commends the efforts made by the American government to facilitate reaching this agreement, which would contribute to expanding the efforts of the brotherly Sudan to achieve the aspirations of its people for security, growth and prosperity, thus spreading peacemaking in the Middle East. The statement added that the Ministry of Bahrain's support alongside Sudan in its relentless endeavors towards further development, progress and prosperity, and to exercise its active and constructive role in the international community. In the opening statement at a press conference that took place in Bahrain today with U.S. Undersecretary of State for Economic Growth, Energy and the Environment, Keith Crash, the, he emphasized that the kingdom has been and continues to be an important strategic partner in the Gulf that maintains stability and ensures the free flow of commerce. The United States remains committed to Bahrain's security and the two countries' deep partnership to counter threats to the region. There are well over 40 uh, nations. Mm -hmm. There's over 60 telco companies. There's also like companies like Oracle, HP, um, Reliance, NEC, Fujitsu, uh, and and this is this is really important because as the person who runs economic diplomacy for the United States, we want to drive more uh, investment from our private sector into Bahrain, and these companies they want to make sure that they're coming in where it's a trusted 5G system with no risk, uh, no high risk suppliers. If you look at what's happened, first of all, Bahrain's taken a leadership position. This has also really shined a spotlight uh, on the Middle East. And uh, the danger exists because if you look at, for example, uh, not just U.S. private sector investment, but also uh, Europe private sector investment. And now 27 of the 30 NATO nations are on that clean network. Everybody wants to deal with a trusted uh, uh, 5G, trusted infrastructure. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,120 active cases with 303 recoveries and 363 registered new cases. 122 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 233 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. The Ministry of Health announces the death of a 54-year-old male citizen and expresses its condolences to the family of the deceased, urging everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.